Hello and a very warm welcome. Now this video is part of a series that I'm doing on how to ensure your visitors never say I will buy later. Well, I'm Tavleen from excelplugins.com and yes, we are waging a war on procrastination. So I'm so thrilled to be doing this video because we're talking about something really, really important and also very interesting. It's how to impose a faster shipping deadline on your shoppers and convert high. Well, so what we're discussing is how you can uh, let your shoppers know that if they place the order before a certain time, you will be able to uh, ship, you will be able to deliver it by a set and set date. And then how to use that to create a sense of urgency by running a countdown timer till the time they can place the order to receive it by a set date right so i'm going to show you how to do that but first think about this now a visitor is trying to buy a gift for a friend from your store so there's an item that she's particularly impressed and um, and she wants to gift it for a fr she wants to buy it as a gift for her friend well but right before she places her order she's struck by a very very important question and this is this could potentially be a sales slaying doubt yes so a major objection uh, which is when will I get this item in my hands? Well, so she wants to know when is she exactly going to get it? When will this be delivered? Right now, the uh, you know her her reason for knowing the answer to this question is that if the item gets delivered after her friend's birthday is passed, it will be of no use to her. It will be a complete waste of money for her. Right. So she's doing some last minute shopping, but she wants to be sure that she will be able to get it um, before the birthday. Right. So that she can make use of the gift and to, so that she can gift it to her right otherwise uh, well she'll just have to return it right so she doesn't find the answer over there she moves on she goes to another website and she ditches your site and walks right past it to buy from your competition just because uh, the, the website that she bought it from the store that she bought it from very clearly stated the estimated delivery details right so this no matter how tiny this piece of information was it did have an impact on her buying decision well, so this case study that I'm going to discuss with you right now gives a very solid sneak peek into buyer psychology. Now, look at these two versions, right? So this was a, a A-B test conducted and one of these versions converted extremely well and better than the other version, version A, uh, which, uh, which says order within and there's a ticking countdown timer for next day delivery. This one doesn't have, it just says free delivery and there's nothing about estimated delivery, uh, shipping and delivery details, right? So this one is a ticking countdown timer. This one doesn't have it do you know which one converted better well i will get to that but first a little bit of details about what this test was all about so it was conducted by an e-commerce agency in the netherlands and uh, they used uh, an a b testing tool called visual website optimizer now this test was was run on uh, on their client called miss etam which is a leading dutch women's outfitter well, I just hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Well, so a total of 50,000 visitors were subjected to this test, right? And um, it ran for two weeks and it achieved a confidence rate of 99%. Now, here are the results. So the one with the ticking countdown timer converted way better than the version B without the countdown timer. And it lifted conversions by 8.6%. The confidence level was 99%. Now, this test won silver medal in the product product page category of 2015 online testing awards and the reason is because a tiny tweak as you can notice it's actually a very very tiny tweak that resulted in really impressive uh, lift in conversion rate so, so i'm going to show you how to set this up on your woocommerce product page letting shoppers know the estimated delivery details and letting them know on the product page so that they can confidently place their order so i'm going to show you how to do that using finale finale is the ultimate urgency creating tool in woocommerce and it allows you to show a faster shipping deadline along with a countdown timer on your woocommerce product page right and you also have the option of excluding holidays so if there are some days when you're not making your if you're, if the ship, if you're not shipping the orders maybe you don't ship it on weekends or you don't ship it on christmas or or some special festive holidays well then you can exclude those dates from there and it will make the calculation to bring out this date based on your input right so a uh, lot of stuff going on here it's actually coming from a dynamic merch tag let me take you behind the scenes onto finale and show you how to configure this on your woocommerce product page all right so i'm going to show you how to set up a statement like this 
uh, we'll deliver the item by June 25th, June 27th, if you order in the next, and here's a countdown timer. So I will show you how to set up something like this on your product detail page. Now, what you must notice is that this date is actually dynamic. Yeah. So it's obviously not going to remain forever 25th and 27th June, right? It is actually changing based on the time. And plus, you can start the countdown timer. Uh, again, a lot of things going behind the scenes uh, to make this little statement come alive like this right so let me take you uh, to the back end and show you how to configure this so straight away hover over this and go to the running campaign you don't have to go inside so we've made it extremely easy to use you don't have to really hunt for the right campaign just hover over this and click on uh, this the, the campaign number and you will be directed to it yeah so here we are so first tab is the schedule tab. Now schedule, we're going to choose recurring. Why? Well, because it's not a one-time campaign, right? They're not setting it up to run just once in a lifetime, right? So it's, it recurs after certain intervals of time. So we're going to set up the start date and time, right? So it's going to start uh, from, um, let's say you're setting it up. Let's say you bought the plugin today and you want to set it up right from today itself. So yes, most welcome. Go ahead and pick up the date, right? And then the time now. So think about it that... Um, your, you have a cutoff time, so which basically means that if every if you take uh, the orders, uh, you know, if people place the orders uh, on your store by 7 p.m., you will be able to deliver it five to seven days from that very day, right? But if it crosses the 7 p.m. deadline, if they place the order after 7 p.m., well, then you will add one more day to it, right? So you're going to enter that time here, right? In in this case, I've chosen 7 p.m., but it's the time when your delivery parcels go out and you're going to choose that time. Duration is one day, so which basically means that this campaign is going to run for one day, right? Uh, 24 hours. Now, there's no pause period to it. It's going to keep running, right? It's 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 going to run for uh, 24 hours. Then the comp, the, then the counter will, will reset. So we're we're setting this up. We're setting the schedule for the counter, right? The countdown timer. It ends never ends, right? Because it's not a festive season or it's not a deal of the day campaign. It's it's uh, it's it's uh, a campaign where the counter needs to reset after every 24 hours so that we can create a genuine sense of urgency so that we can let people know that they need to place the order before it's 7 p.m right so um that's that then we were going to elements now we're not choosing any of these elements we're choosing a custom text right so what you saw here just now this is coming from custom text, right? And this countdown timer is running against the 7 p.m. deadline. Now, a lot of things are happening here, but let me explain you the simple part, which is the position. Now, the position is below the price, right? So as you can notice over here, um, as you can notice over here, it's it's below the price, right? So this is from, uh, from here, you can set the position. From here, you could also change it to above the title, below the title, below review rating. You have all these options in the drop down here. Now, here's the custom text. So this is actually coming from a dynamic merge tag right so here we've picked up a merge tag from here and that is what is showing up so as you can notice we'll deliver the item by this is static text this remains as it is forever unless you obviously change it but this one is dynamic text so from here is the dynamic text begins now what is happening here is that we're saying that we will deliver the item by current date adjustment of five days now what this means is that we're telling uh, that we're telling the system that whatever the current date is add five days to it right and this is the cutoff 7 p.m. like I just discussed for us we call the day at 7 p.m. right and um, so this is the current date adjustment five days current date adjustment seven days right so here's what I'm trying to say that I'm trying to say that uh, I'm going to deliver the item to you it'll take about five to seven it will take between five and seven days for me to deliver the item uh, we're just setting it up in a way that it is automatically going to pick the right dates right so because it's current date plus adjustment of five days and current date plus adjustment of seven days right if you order in the next and here's the countdown timer so it's going to work backwards the countdown timer will start from 7 p.m backwards right once it is it's crossed 7 p.m it's 8 p.m and the and the visitor is placing order at 8 p.m well then the counter would have reset and, and and then it would start saying that if you place the order within 23 hours right which is till the next day 7 p.m so that is how it works 
Also, there's something really interesting here. You can simply copy a merge tag and paste it over there, right? And it, it, this is so insanely intuitive. So let's say you say that order in the next and then the countdown timer should start, right? And get it by. So this is uh, an adjustment period of four days, right? So order in the next whatever, two hours, 50 minutes uh, and uh, get it by 24 June and then exclude day so you must notice this is this is so insanely useful so what we're doing is we're allowing you to um, you know to input the dates when you are not shipping so let's say you're not shipping on sunday and saturday right so you can simply exclude those days yes it's that easy you just have to enter the days when you're not shipping right let's say you don't ship on weekends so we're fine go ahead and write saturday and sunday over here right and then further you can exclude dates so there will be certain dates when you are not shipping could be a christmas right so like here it's 25th december whatever the date is you're most welcome you just you just have to separate the date you just have to put a comma here and write the other date so you can exclude all the dates when you're not shipping so automatically when it will perform the calculations it will take that into account very simple plug in uh, plug and play simply copy the template and just paste it over here if you want to make some changes uh, you know you are most welcome to do that you can change the color the background color font size if you want to put a border around it well most welcome you can change it to whatever however you want this to appear a dotted dashed or solid border right all of these are possibilities uh, the border color width can also change also another very very intuitive and interesting thing if you don't want this particular message to appear on out of stock products which is which is only a fitting right why would you want um, this message to appear on out of stock products well then just simply go ahead and say uh, that this will only be visible when the stock status is in stock right so automatically whenever the stock status is out of stock this will not appear it will only appear on products which are in stock so as simple as that right so it takes into account every little thing that you need so no more uh, you know not mentioning the estimated delivery details or no more simply saying it will be shipped within three to five days well you can give them a definitive uh, a definitive type time bracket right like here 25th to 27 June this is not just specific but it is also very assuring for a shopper that he is going to get the item by set dates right it can work like a charm well, so I would love for you to check out finale that was just the tip of the iceberg there are a lot more things that finale can do for you it can help you set up urgency inducing flash sales seasonal offers recurring campaigns and more right so just go ahead and check out what else is out here and um, like I said, it was just the tip of the iceberg. So I'm sure that you will be floored by what all Finale can do for your store. I'll drop the link in the description box above or below. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I, and I thoroughly enjoyed uh, showing you what are the, the possibilities are. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.